this guy right here is the bearded dragon. These guys are found in Australia and love hanging out in the desert. <laughs> and you can see he's really fast and he actually uses this long tail as a counterbalance when running. It swings back and forth so he can move really quick. He's staring me down right now. And they actually do that. They have to turn to the side because they can't really see well in front of them. So they have to turn their whole head like this to actually be able to see me, which is what Spyro's doing right now. These guys get their names, the bearded dragon, from those beard-like scales in their throat that they'll puff up against predators to intimidate them and basically say, hey, I'm big, I'm mean, find something else to eat in the outback. These guys will actually use their sharp claws to cling into wood, fallen logs, fence posts, and pop up to survey the surrounding area like he is right now with those big eyes, looking for rival males and looking for food sources, anything from small bugs, other invertebrates, to vegetation these guys can actually eat. When these guys spot another rival male, they'll actually puff their beards up, show those spiny bearded scales, and do it to bob their heads up and down like this. <laughs> Flatten their back out and kind of arch it towards them so that it makes them look a lot bigger than they are and more intimidating to the rival male. And this is pretty much what they're gonna look like, this beautiful coloring of like pale yellows, grays, and whites. Even has some red on them, which is pretty cool. This is about as big as they'll get, around 20 inches is their max size. All of the bearded dragons we have in captivity today are from the same batch of illegally exported ones from Australia back in the 1970s. But just a beautiful animal in the wild if you see one in Australia or if you have one in captivity is a great pet but just an overall awesome animal. And if you guys liked this video, please drop a like, subscribe if you wanna see more stuff like this, and thank you so much.